Hi, community Christian. Hi, kids. It's that time again, and you are not going to believe this, but this book this week, The Crown on Your Head, is the 50th book that Miss Jen has read since almost last year. It's been almost a year that I've been doing this, so I hope that you're still enjoying it, and I hope you enjoy this one. So here's to the 50th book, The Crown on Your Head. On the day that we met and I put you to bed, I noticed a crown on the top of your head. It was made up of sparkling, glimmering things like moonlight and fireflies and dragonfly wings. As the days came and went, it was faithful and true. And it grew right along with the rest of you. I always knew just what your crown meant. It said that you were magnificent. That means you are grand from your toes to your chin. Take a deep breath and let that sink in. That's about as high as a word can climb. That's the top of a mountain, a steeple chime. That's over the moon in a nursery rhyme. And it means, like a star, you were born to shine. Blink three times, and there you are. You are twinkling, little star. In other words, from your very first day, you were chosen to glow in a very big way. With your crown made of glittering high-flying things, you've got wind in your pocket, your wishes have wings. You can run like you mean it, so let the wind blow. There's just no telling how high you can go. Whatever it is you choose to do, no one can do it exactly like you. Ride on the big slide, and if you fall down, remember your glorious, marvelous crown. It won't flicker or fade, it won't dim, it won't leave. All you have to do is believe. Do you, my child? I hope that you do. The world is a wonderland waiting for you. And you get to share it with all your friends, too. They each have a crown that is faithful and true. No one's is brighter. No one's is duller. It's only a crown of a different color. So sometimes, just every now and then, whisper, I believe again. Your crown is your, breast, your best friend forever by far.
it tells the true story of just who you are. That's why every night when I put you to bed, I'm careful to kiss the crown on your head. And this is just a little note from your crown. I'm made out of magic most people can't see, which is really quite clever if you should ask me. But if you're ever worried and really must know, you can tell that I'm there by the warmth of my glow. Press your hand to the top of your head. Feel me? Okay. Put your worries to bed. And always remember that you are loved. Miss Jen loves you and misses you. I'm hope, hope, hoping. Maybe we'll be together soon. If not, hopefully I'll catch you next Sunday. We have a Zoom meeting, me and Miss Debbie, and we're gonna sing and I'll read a book and there's gonna be prizes. So I hope to see you next Sunday. Have an awesome week. Love you, miss you. Mwah, mwah. Till next time.